So, uh, Nick, again, I think this was a total coincidence. You are coming on the show uh, after the Fed just announced that they are hiking rates, the highest rate hike that we've seen in over 15 years. Uh, what, what are your thoughts on that? Yes, yeah, so we are at the high, highest uh, federal funds rate that we've had uh, since the financial crisis. And it is the result of a lot of inflation in 2021 and 2022. The Fed was definitely behind the curve in terms of hiking rates. Inflation was already above 5% when they started. And uh, so it was, I think it was obvious to all that they would make their best effort to hike rates as much as they could. And I think it also surprised many that they were able to get this far without breaking the financial system, uh, which they haven't done yet. They are starting to break the economy, but we haven't had any breakage in financial plumbing, um, aside from what happened in the UK government bond market and the Bank of England response a few months ago. So besides that, we haven't had any financial crisis or any crash in stocks. And uh, because of that, the Fed has runway to keep going now i do think that they're at the end of where they could or where they can hike rates to um this might have been the last hike today we might get one more in february i'm not sure about that um my bias is probably that we won't but uh here we are at uh fed funds at four and a quarter and um Again, it, it did c catch many people by surprise that they made it this far. So a lot of people are anticipating a recession in 2023. Do you believe that's the case? Yes. And what we saw in 2022 was that Q1 and Q2 were actually both negative real GDP growth quarters. But the reason for those quarters being negative is because even though the economy was growing at about 6% per cool. year, the inflation adjustment was above 7% for both of those quarters. Uh, therefore, the real growth component came back negative. Now, the economy had positive growth in Q3, and it looks like it will or it might escape Q4 with another positive growth. But looking forward into 2023, uh, the outlook is quite negative. Looking at a few components here. So number one is the housing sector. Housing is in a severe contraction right now. Housing prices are declining month over month for a few months in a row. And by the middle of next year, we'll be declining on an annual basis as well. Housing is about 25% of the economy. There's a lot of employment also that goes along with finishing houses, finished houses, um, household formation. And so the economy will slow widely due to the contraction in housing. The economy is also already slowing because of a decline in business spending. So businesses have been looking at the economy and the interest rate outlook over the last few months, and they have decided that a slowdown in the economy is very likely. They're slowing spending, they're slowing investing in projects, and they're also slowing hiring and, and actually starting to lay off workers. So from a, a couple different places, we do see that contraction and slowdown is happening or likely. And then we'll just have to wait for the statistics. Uh, I think whether or not uh, an official recession is in the cards for 2023, is up to the government statisticians, so I'll let them decide that. However, I think it's pretty clear from our perspective at the Bitcoin layer that the economy is heading to uh, quite a slowdown. Yields will come down in response to that. The Fed will have to stop hiking rates in response to that, and uh, other things will happen accordingly. <laughs>